And we're also innovating a lot in uh, battery production with the 4680 that's built uh, right here. Um, and uh, it, it is, it's a hard problem, you know, like there, there are entire companies that just make battery cells, that's all they do. Um, and, um, but we're making good progress. Like all, all the Cybertrucks that you see use the Tesla 4680 cell. Um, and uh, we have a clear path to the 4680 being, we think, probably the most competitive cell uh, from, its, from a manufacturing efficiency standpoint. The 2024-2025 period is a critical time for Tesla, introducing new electric models driven by their latest battery technology, which is generating significant excitement. In this update, we delve into the details of Tesla's advanced 4680 battery, featuring components from China's technological forefront. We also explore Panasonic's custom-made batteries for Tesla's top-tier vehicles. A key focus is how these batteries perform in the current cold conditions, and we'll provide essential tips for navigating through the cold without a hitch. Curious about Tesla's innovative battery technology and wondering which models will feature these next-generation batteries? Stay tuned for an exciting exploration of Tesla's latest battery developments in today's video. 1. Is Tesla's 4680 battery innovation the game-changer for electric vehicles? This question looms large as Tesla embarks on two significant changes to its 4680 batteries, promising an energy density increase of 10% to 20%. The first major shift involves a transition to a more nickel-rich cathode chemistry. Moving from the NMC8111 composition, 80% nickel, 10% manganese, 10% cobalt, to a new formula boasting 90% nickel, 5% manganese, and 5% cobalt, Tesla aims to enhance the theoretical energy density of its batteries. This move not only promises improved battery performance, but also aligns with Tesla's commitment to sustainability by reducing reliance on cobalt, a high-cost and ethically challenging material. A key innovation in this cell is the use of asymmetric lamination in its construction. This design involves creating a jelly roll, the tightly wound electrode layers, with one side thicker than the other. This asymmetry allows for a larger amount of active material, increasing the cell's overall capacity. As a result, the cell can store more energy within the same physical dimensions, leading to a higher energy density. This enhancement means that Tesla's 4680 cells can deliver power more efficiently during both charging and discharging, which translates to faster charging times and improved performance. For example, a cell with asymmetric lamination can absorb more lithium ions during charging, thereby increasing its capacity and sustaining power output more effectively. In practical terms, this means Tesla vehicles equipped with these cells can achieve longer ranges on a single charge, benefit from quicker charging at supercharger stations, and enjoy enhanced overall driving performance. For the Cybertruck, it could mean over 300 miles of range, extendable to 500 miles with a range extender. The Model Y and Tesla Semi, equipped with 4680 batteries, could also see enhanced ranges. Tesla's dry electrode processing technology, initially designed for the 4680 battery, holds promise as the ultimate production method for future solid-state batteries. This innovation can streamline the entire production process, shortening the production line by approximately 100 meters, almost the length of a football field. According to Tesla, this approach can cut costs by over 18% and reduce equipment investment by 41% compared to traditional wet processes. By utilizing dry processing for both anodes and cathodes, the cost per watt hour of battery cells could decrease by USD 0.20 to 0.30. To put this into perspective, the current lowest price for a lithium iron phosphate battery cell stands at USD 0.044 per watt hour, with total bill of materials and manufacturing costs, including labor, ranging from USD 0.039 to 0.041 per watt hour. Tesla's cost-saving method could significantly impact the profit margins of second-tier battery manufacturers, as it represents a substantial portion of their margins. China, with its highly advanced power battery supply chain, is facing intense cost reduction pressures. Consequently, 
many Chinese battery companies have not yet fully recognized Tesla's advancements in large cylindrical batteries. Bridging this technological gap could take years. We're familiar with the cyclical nature of technology and industry scaling, as seen with solar panels, wind turbines, and battery cells. The battery industry, in particular, has experienced periods of oversupply, and Tesla's 4680 cells initially struggled with competitiveness. However, recent progress and Tesla's projections to achieve cost competitiveness by the end of the year are encouraging. The question remains whether leading battery manufacturers like KTL, LG and SKON will accelerate their innovation and cost reduction efforts. Nonetheless, I am cautiously optimistic about Tesla's battery advancements, more so than I have been since Tesla Battery Day four years ago. The outcome will be interesting to watch. So, which Tesla innovation are you most excited about? The switch to nickel-rich cathodes or the breakthrough of asymmetric lamination? If you're more interested in the nickel-rich cathodes, comment 1. If the asymmetric lamination catches your attention, comment 2. Or, if you have a different opinion, please share your thoughts in the comments below. We appreciate your input and look forward to your views in the tech community. 2. Are Tesla's electric vehicle batteries facing a cold weather crisis? While Tesla's advancements in battery technology, such as the shift to nickel-rich cathodes and asymmetric lamination, aim to enhance performance and efficiency, there are still significant challenges faced by electric vehicles in extreme conditions. As the mercury plummets, electric vehicles, including Tesla's, are facing a significant challenge in cold weather conditions. In Chicago's harsh winter, Electric vehicles, particularly Teslas, are struggling with battery depletion in extreme cold. Tesla owners face prolonged charging times at stations, some of which are inoperable. Instances include Tesla driver Brandon Wellborn experiencing over five hours of unsuccessful charging, and Tyler Beard, who tried charging for six hours across two days without success. In such frigid conditions, Tesla's charging stations in the Chicago area have turned into veritable car graveyards, with numerous Tesla owners forced to abandon their vehicles after the batteries drained completely. Cold weather notably impacts electric vehicle performance, with studies indicating a potential 30% reduction in driving range for popular models in freezing temperatures. An electric vehicle typically offering 200 to 215 miles may only cover 150 to 175 miles under these conditions. Charging electric vehicles in cold weather presents additional difficulties. Batteries must be preheated for efficient charging, although this issue only affects range per trip and doesn't cause long-term battery damage. Are you curious about what caused all of this? The diminished performance of electric vehicles, EVs, including Teslas in cold weather, is due to slower chemical and physical reactions within their batteries. Unlike cars with internal combustion engines, EVs can't use engine heat to warm the interior, which impacts their efficiency. In cold temperatures, lithium ions in EV batteries move sluggishly through the electrolyte, reducing energy release efficiency and hastening battery depletion. Charging is more challenging in the cold, as batteries need to be warm for effective electron movement, particularly at fast charging stations. This requirement leads to longer charging times in extreme cold. And what are the tips to prevent freezing situation happens to your Tesla? To mitigate these issues, experts recommend several strategies. EVs like Teslas can automatically warm up the battery if the navigation system is set to a charging station. However, many users are unaware of the importance of preconditioning batteries for about half an hour before charging in cold weather for optimal performance. Tesla's support website acknowledges increased energy consumption in cold weather due to the need for heating the battery and cabin. They suggest warming the EV's cabin while plugged in and preconditioning the battery before using a DC fast charger. Other tips include reducing cabin heat, driving slower, using precondition or defrost features before driving, and keeping the battery above 20% charge when unplugged. 3. Panasonic's new 2170 battery for Tesla. A leap in energy density with nano-silicon particles. While Tesla's innovations in battery technology 
such as asymmetric lamination and the transition to nickel-rich cathodes aim to boost performance and efficiency, Panasonic's advancements with the 2170 cells further highlight the ongoing progress in enhancing electric vehicle capabilities. Let's delve into the exciting advancements in Panasonic's 2170 battery cells and their potential impact on Tesla's electric vehicles. Panasonic, a crucial partner in Tesla's battery production, supplies the 2170 cells used in the Model 3 and Model Y. Known for their high energy density, these cylindrical cells are essential for extending driving ranges and improving performance in electric vehicles, EVs. Panasonic's new strategy for Tesla involves a bold plan involving incorporating nano-silicon technology into the anode material of these cells, which could boost energy density by up to 20%, aiming to increase production capacity from 50 gigawatt hours to 200 gigawatt hours by 2030. This enhancement means that a Tesla Model Y equipped with these upgraded 2170 batteries could achieve an impressive range of up to 350 miles, approximately 560 kilometers, on a single charge, a significant improvement over the current range and a major boost for reducing range anxiety and enhancing long-distance travel. Beyond increasing range, the improved energy density allows for fewer cells to be used to achieve the same capacity leading to cost savings in production. This could result in more affordable electric vehicles and the possibility of roomier interiors due to smaller battery packs. While the new Model Y will benefit first from this technology, it's expected that other Tesla models, such as the Cybertruck and the upcoming Model 2, could also adopt these advanced batteries. Panasonic's commitment to enhancing energy density with nano-silicon technology promises not only longer driving ranges, but also a more cost-effective and environmentally friendly future for electric vehicles. What are your thoughts on these exciting developments in Tesla's battery technology? Do you think these advancements will significantly impact the EV market? With all the improvement we've shared, what do you expect from the final battery product of Tesla? Share your views in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest in Tesla and electric vehicle technology. Your support helps us bring you more insightful content, so stay tuned for our next video.